Yo guys, what's up? Shadow here and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. Alright, so hopefully today we'll be able to uh, mostly be, um, you know, be able to uh, finish up or at least start to finish up this whole scenario over here. Also, I just realized I used the wrong color for these bits here. Um, I do want to kind of start to put down the framework here, you know, the the bottom layer, so to speak. So we can have a good representation of what the room is going to look like. So I guess this is what I'm going to do first. And then all the while this is going on, I'm going to go back and forth between the base and try to uh, get some more of these jump drives finished up. Although I think... Right now we are short on one of the components. I'm not quite sure what it is. I think it's this, uh, the gravity generator thingies we're short of, I believe. Because he has superconductors all in. Yeah, you can see that gravity components are the, uh, the crux right now that we're missing here. There's another bunch of them. Um, are we producing any of them? Yes, we are. 35 of them are in production. Um, right now it looks like... Uh, if we go to these... It looks like we're missing gold. We didn't get rid of all the gold so far, did we? So this is producing silver. This is also producing silver. This is interesting. Um, do we still have gold somewhere? Let's see. Gold... Oh, well, isn't that interesting? Oh, or is there still gold on here because I, I, I disconnected the ship? Ah, oh, that might be. Let's lock this and see if we go to inventory and search for gold. Ah, no, it looks like we're completely out of gold. Isn't that interesting? So we will have to go for another gold mining trip, it looks like. Hmm. Yes, yes, that is exactly what it looks like. Okay, um, I guess this is, uh, we're gonna have a change of plans then. Gonna go for gold again. I'm just looking here, none of these can be completed right now. Yeah, these take just so much gold apparently. So yeah, um, right. Let me just put some more of these down just so we can get rid of the components here. Let me get one more inventory of steel plates and then we're gonna go gold mining. Also, I think I want to make some more steel plates while we're while we're on it. We'll need to make some more of those anyway, so there you go. Um, there. And now we'll do these as well. Because like this, we have a good visual on how this room is going to turn out. And we'll also be able to see where we have to place the stairs down. So here we'll have, if I remember this correctly, just one, two, just like that. Which means in the middle, hold on, no, something is not right. Something is not right, so... One, two, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, hmm. Hold on. Okay, so if we go from here, this bit, ah, I see, I see where my mistake is. This one needs to go. This one doesn't belong here. Right. Now it will make a little bit more sense. I think I see it. Okay. Just weld these real quick. But yeah, there's going to be one more layer here. Actually, right here. There's going to be one more layer. You know what? Let me do this right now. Because if I come back and I don't think about it, then I uh, I might fuck it up later on. So let's do it right now. Um, so we're going to have the wall. That's going to be right here. Uh, yeah, 
this. I think we can place that like so. So that's going to be here. And then three blocks wide. There's obviously going to be the, uh, the jump drives, which leaves us with a three block room in the middle. Yes, now it now it makes sense. Now it makes a lot more sense. There we go. Okay. Yes, yes, I see it now. And I think if I see this correctly. Uh, let's 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 just put that on here, just so we can have a, a little look. So this is supposedly like this, and then here we'll have all of these. Well, the, the mo outermost, and then they're they're actually gonna yeah obviously they're. I completely forgot the shape of our ship there for a second, but yeah. So this one is going to be here, this one's going to be like this. Which means over here, there's going to be the right, this block here. And then... This. There we go. So here is one, two, three jump drives are going to be back there. Yeah, I think that that makes sense right now. Right, uh, let me just uh, waste the few more uh, steel plates that I have here on these things here. So we can start to pull this down as well. Why not? Might as well. Just take a few steel plates. Oh, there we go. Actually put this on like that there we go okay uh, let's go and do some gold mining then looks like we have to go for another tour of gold mining I thought I had quite a lot of gold with me but apparently hmm that is really weird let's see cargo So here we have, yeah, we have silver in there. Hmm. Show on the inventory of the current ship. Oh yeah, see we have, on the ship itself, we still have uh, some stuff on here. That's interesting. Can we put that somewhere? Um, I think we do have a container for ores, don't we? I thought we would have one. There's a small container, small container. Ingots. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, hmm, that is quite full, though. Should be able to do this, though. Put that in there. More silicon. So much silicon for some reason I have on here. I'm not sure why, but I do have a bunch of silicon. So now, if we... Docking off. There we go. Now we're completely empty. That's what I wanted to achieve with this, actually. Okay. Uh, let's get off of this. Uh, there we go. We're off. Uh, door closed so we can actually breathe in here. There we go. Okay. Where is our gold? It's up there. Let's try to get ourselves lined up here. Yeah. Not scraping the asteroid, if that is possible. All right, about here. Let's go. To another good mining trip. It's going to be glorious, I'm sure. Where's the sun? Oh, the sun is already rotated over, over the top again. I wasn't even aware. That went fast. Sometimes I'm really um, tempted to change the uh, the time it takes for uh, the day-night cycle. Because um, in, in, in the worlds that I normally do the construction in, you know, like um, my creative worlds, 
There I always put the the, uh, the time cycle on 24 hours, which means every in-game hour is a real life hour. And therefore the weather doesn't change that fast or the sunshine and everything. And I like that quite a lot because it, it gives you a lot of time to, to take in the situation, you know what I mean? And uh, to, uh, to take advantage of certain things and... I don't know, it's... Uh, it it does feel good, but the problem is um, there is no like sleeping mechanic like there is in other games to like pass time, and therefore it's kind of difficult to um, to go through the the real day and then you know when it's night time, oftentimes you will not be able to do something, and especially in 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 playthroughs where you're you know at the beginning when you have like only a little bit of power and then batteries and then you refill them during the day the problem is if they're full and the day has only gone for an hour that means during the night you will deplete your batteries so quick you know because you don't have enough battery storage really to to make this work it takes a way different kind of um of setup to make it work actually it's kind of cool but it, if you do it, you have to, yeah, change this up completely. Or you have to kind of cheat and basically say, okay, now I would go to sleep. Let's skip to the to the daybreak again. You know what I mean? But yeah, it would be cool if there's some sort of like Minecraft, like sleeping mechanism. Like, oh, it's night. Let's sleep. Boom, day again. <laughs> Probably would be a nightmare to make this work with this game, I have a feeling. Especially because... There could be a player on one side of the planet and then the one player on the other side and uh, you know You could uh, it couldn't of course skip if only one player goes to bed, but yeah, there you go I think that's the same thing in Minecraft though. So that's a That's a problem that the ga that game has as well, right? Here. We are gold city everybody Let's turn on our drills and start getting the delicious gold. We need a bunch of it. I cannot even remember. Did we last time really not bring that much gold back? I thought we brought quite a lot. But maybe... The thing is gold is one of these resources that doesn't get... Um, you don't get that much many ingots out of the, the raw material. I think platinum is the worst. Platinum and uranium are the worst in that kind. But I think gold is also not that... Quote unquote efficient. I think so, yeah. I really hope this gold mine here lasts for a while because I don't think I have any alternative to this. Alright, soon we'll be... Yeah, I think we cannot really continue. Yeah, there we go. Now our, our truster is actually getting stuck. How much gold do we get here? Oh, let me reset this real quick. There we go. 7%. So not that much filled at all. All right, let's go for another dig. Let's move ourselves to the left here and do the whole thing again. Just going straight in. I'm probably also getting a lot of stone with this, but you know. It's not like we cannot use that, but it's it's just not the, the most exciting material, of course. But yeah, so far it looks like there's a shit ton of gold in here. That's excellent. There we go. Look at it, eating it away at the big rock here. Mm. I love that from a visual standpoint, when it digs in like that, when you can see it. How it just chips away. Very sexual. <laughs> That's, that might be because of the shape of the ship. <laughs> you decide. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, there we go. We cannot go any further here. 19%. I think I want to fill at least like 30% or something, right? That's the, the least amount of uh, filling that I want to have. Otherwise, the trip wasn't really worth it, if it was any less. I also have the, kind of the idea of maybe modifying the ship a tiny bit, you know. Maybe add a, a layer more of solar panels 
and therefore guaranteeing a little bit more lifespan maybe even put a battery or two on it one more just to make sure that if it's connected you know that we get um, basically the the most out of the the connection and can save a lot of battery up and then when we use it so that we have longer times to use and also that we can maybe get one or two more thrusters on it so it gets a little bit more easy to handle you know what i mean let me raise this up a bit uh, there we go now i think we're lined up properly let's freaking go just yes there we go that's what we like to see that's a bunch of gold right there always looks like something is getting destroyed there but i think that's just random visual effects We can go for a little bit more here, a little bit more. Uh, there we go, I think that's the max. The maximum we can take out of this. 33%, let's go for one more dive here, so to speak. Getting for one more. Just right next to it, there's like a little part of, of things standing there that I left standing from the first, or for the this dive that we just did, this mining. So I want to get rid of that, it looks awkward. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I see you trying to get rid of these weird little leftovers there. There we go, it's not quite straight in, but there you go. Excellent. Next time we come here for mining, we have to approach from a different angle, and then it's going to be a lot easier to get more gold. 36%. How much does that uh, mean? Almost 500k of gold. Pretty much. I mean, that should be more than enough, I think. I'm just trying to get a bit more here so we can get a nice 500k. Just moving it around. There we go. That should be it. Yeah, there we go. Half a million tons, I think that is. Let me just take a little look at the damage we caused there. Look at that. And there's still a lot of gold to go. If, if, if that's not just deceiving, then we at least have a, pretty much the same distance as we already dug here. We still have at the back. So there's a lot more gold in there. That's lovely. Good to know. Right. Let me... Get in here again, and now back to base it is. There we go. Base is up there. Let's go about there, that sounds right. I really love that you can see our freaking ship from here. That is amazing to me. It looks the wrong way around. Hold on, let me turn real quick. So it's the right way around. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Now we just need to get back, unload, and then hopefully the uh, gravity component um, manufacturer should start up again for the most part. I'm kind of... I find it kind of strange that we went through that gold so quickly, but the, the, the silver was still pumping. Even though the silver, we had a lot less silver, that, or at least I thought we had a lot less than gold. But yeah, there you go. Always awkward, the journey back with the freaking overload the thing but yeah if i'm thinking about this now i could put like 
You see where the batteries are now on the side there, right? Just behind. Put one more battery behind each of those. We still have space there. And then um, on the left and right hand side, just add like another level of solar panels if that is possible. I'm sure I can get away with that. And then... Um, oh Jesus, I will completely overshoot I think now. Yeah, I think I will absolutely overshoot, will I? Either I'm gonna stop perfect or I'm gonna overshoot like an idiot right now, we'll see. But, um... I think we can do that, you know, extend the solar panels a little bit and then... On the... The long fins... That extend up and below, on the upper side and the lower side... Add like one more thruster there... I, on the up and down side and then the front we do the same thing essentially at so we'll add four more thrusters i don't think we need more like sideways thrusters and stuff like that i don't think we need that really so that should be fine but yeah you know just to 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 make this business right here the accelerating and deaccelerating a bit more comfortable because yeah right now we're going to slowly come to a halt. I think it's not bad we didn't overdo it in a crazy way, but still, it's not optimal, of course. And now actually that I turned, I'm gonna deaccelerate even slower. There we go. Now we're getting there, okay. Now I just have to navigate around all this crap here. sometimes so hard to to judge how fast you actually are because there's not many points of references you know there's not not like landscape that is swooshing by you it's just freaking empty space right uh, next time i have to check that i approach the, the asteroid from the right hand side it's gonna be easier to actually dock there this way we have to actually go past our ship. But it's kind of cool because now we are now flying so close to our other ship. It, it, sometimes it's it's kind of hard to, to figure out how big a ship actually is. But now, you know, if you see it in comparison, it's kind of hilarious actually. <laughs> because this ship is already, you know, decently big, right? Even though the interior is not, but it, it's a, a nicely sized ship. But yeah, look at that. I mean, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> As you can see there in the hangar. I love it. The blue lights. Yee. Okay. Mm, technically, I would not need to get past my ship. I could just start going over right now, couldn't I? Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Over and up. a bit forward and then we'll should be able to dock just try not to bang into the ship that would be terrible all right i think we're almost past it okay okay we're approaching all right we're on course bit more forwards a little bit more and now down 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 all right here we go initiating docking procedures And do we have a connection? No, not yet. Not quite, almost. There we go, we got a connection and boom. There we go, lads. Actually, let's leave this open. 
Right, so now gold should flow again. Technically. Oh yeah, it already is. I thought this was silver, but nope. That's gold now. That's all gold. There we go. Ouch. That was done. So now we should start... Oh, look at that. We see now the gravity components flowing in again. Excellent. So now we can, you know... That's like uh, an end to this episode. We can start uh, finish the, finishing these up here. Should be fairly easy, even though it will take forever to move these over. But yeah, awesome. Very nice indeed. And then we'll have to set up, of course, the second side, which will take a whole bunch more... I'm also thinking about constructing something that makes this a little bit easier. Essentially, you know, kind of like a small drone with just a cargo container on it. Basically, kind of like a little cargo drone that can just remote control back and forth to get a bunch of materials. Although, I'm not quite sure that it will make it more efficient in the end. I'm not 100% sure, but it, it would be kind of cool. And it probably would also be what one would do in a situation like that you know kind of like a basically a space wheel barrel if you will i sometimes find it very sad that you cannot just grab onto objects because that is what you potentially could do in space because there's no gravity that even if something is very heavy if you impart just a tiny bit of you know just enough force it eventually will start floating in one direction obviously it's going to be a little bit difficult to you know, actually then <laughs> stop it again, but you know what I mean. It would be kind of cool to have something, have something like that, basically that you could just create a tiny little thing that you can just grab a hold of with your hands and just push in front of you, like a space cart, essentially. You know, like, like a cockpit block that was just basically a steering wheel. You could just put that on and then it t only takes a little bit of, of, of space. And you can put it on the end of a thing. Then you just slap some thrusters on and there you go. It would be kind of cool. Because with the cockpits, you always, you know, it looks awkward you see, depending on how you place it. But And sometimes it's just not practical. But yeah, it would be kind of cool to have something like that. Or just a cargo container, you know, with something like that on it. Then I wouldn't even slap a con connector on it. I would just basically just, you know, just fly it back here as kind of like an extra cargo space and then just move things by hand and then fly it over. Why is it not producing things now? Uh, okay, is it... Oh, there we go. Okay, produce these, please. We shall need a few more. There we go, come on. Five. We're almost there. And I think with all of these, we should have enough to... Uh... Is it not producing anymore? Or was it... It is producing, but it sometimes is, is getting... Uh... Not the material it needs. Let's get the four here. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, now we need 30 more, which means the, the production amount is actually not correct. There's one in here. 21 here, so we need eight more in production. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. You know, while this is going on, let's just... Uh, oh, well, there we go. We have five. Um, I just want to say, let's grab some more steel plates and start to, to build this up a bit more while we have to wait. But I do want to finish at least the, this side. So we then can start on the next side on the, on the next episode. That would be nice. Ooh, we get another five. Jesus, now it's going fast again. Come on.
And another one of these big boys completed. Booyah! Most excellent. There we go, and that's slowed down again. So let's get some steel plates and start working on the rest. There we go. Okay, you know what? Let's pull this wall down. Why not? Just start working on this while we wait for the gravity components to get finished up. Uh, there we go. And another row pretty much done. All right, let's check it. How many has the magic machine made? Four. Well, better than nothing. Just 15 more to go. And then we'll need a whole bunch more for the other side, obviously. But you know what I mean. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Um, here we are. It is getting there, I think. And then we'll have to design the, the staircase and the... Uh, the vent system and everything, but that should be relatively easy in that room because I don't think we'll add anything else to it on, on you know In total, I think we're pretty good with that There we go another row Just fill this up. Boom. And that should be it for that. I love it. It's almost, almost completed the handle. It's getting to, to the end. You know, it's now for a few episodes where we just basically worked on this freaking on these freaking jump drives, and you know, the problem with these big things is there's not much progression visible, of course. But now I think we're starting to see some progression again, and I think that's a good thing because it's also good for me because sometimes if you do something and you don't see anything, you know, getting out of that, you know, no progression and nothing, it can be kind of demoralizing sometimes. But, uh, yeah, I think I, I got over that hump. More or less intact, I would say. Because now that starts to look quite decent over here. How many more? Six more, right. Okay, that is excellent. Let me just add this stuff here as well while we're at it. I just want to make it um, equal to the other side, so we have a uh, a nice symmetry going. Energy critical. There we go. And that is how it's gonna go. We have to, of course, pluck these holes here as well. Otherwise, this will not work. But that's fine. Uh, let me get some energy. And then we'll be good for the last part. Just these few more gravity components to put in. Ah, that's fine. Let's go. We can do it. There's five more. I think it should make one more now somewhere. Or maybe... The yeah, there we go. There's the last one. The last one of them. Alright, let's get it. Let's go. 
And then we'll have to calculate what we need for the next one. For the next six, rather. Let's just make some more steel plates while we're at it. And... Here we go. Ah, it's beautiful. Yes. Ah, oh, excellent. Excellent indeed. Okay, I think I'll also do the back bit as well. You know, why not? Um, that is going to be right over here. And I think, yeah, it's going to be the small one, is it? I know, okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Right. Ah, freaking tiki. Still bothers me. I still won't do anything about it. That's my fault, I suppose. There we go. Look at that. Just starting to put that in real quick. I just want to have this complete, you know? Got like a sense of achievement here that I've done it. What I set out to do. I need to remove these, otherwise it won't work. And then... Slap these on. And now just the small ones remaining. Most excellent. Well, that will, we'll do that next time. But yeah, there we go. Now this already looks quite good. We'll have to um, make sure that, yeah, this these blocks here, that they are set as well, you know, so that we don't get these ugly, um, the welds on the outside, you know. You can see them here, these things. I want to prevent these, of course. As you can see on this side, they're fixed. So we'll have to put these in as well. Don't forget about that. But yeah, next time we're going to start to put on the six additional jump drives on this side, of course. So that's going to be great. But I'm, I'm really happy that we managed to get through these now. That's awesome. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.